All right, new desk arrived. Uh, it doesn't look promising. I hope uh, it's not damaged. I think it's a rather heavy package, so maybe that's why it looks like this. I don't know, but it looks like it's open. So hopefully it's not damaged. All right, I got my knife. Um, I did make one cut. I should have waited, but I'm just gonna open it. I can't really blame Amazon. Maybe, maybe I can, maybe I can't uh, for damage. I mean, look, it's like a dent going in there. It's, it's just, this is like a $300 desk. So it would really suck if the moto got damaged. So, yeah, because there's like damage over there. Which sucks, but um, let's see, how does this open? It's going to lay it on the ground. Very carefully. There we go. Get on the ground. Um, I guess it's tape on either side, maybe. And it's right over here. So tape there. And tape on this side. There we go. I think that's all of the tape. Maybe. That's just styrofoam. So they have a lot of styrofoam to protect it, which is good. So this is one of the panels. I think that's the only negative part about the desk. Is that it's in panels. This is annoying. Um, you can see the knife blade. So they have protectors on it. So that's really cool, actually. Um, the wood actually seems pretty solid. So that's good. And it's, you know, it's decently thick. So there's two slabs here. So these are the two slabs. You can see two slabs, so not bad. I'll put that up there. This is the mouse mat, I believe. These are actually pretty thick. It's actually really good. So probably about half an inch thick, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not too worried about sliding that. So I'll move that there. See, so this is the mouse pad. It actually seems really good. Wow. This is the first time I've uh, purchased like a expensive desk. So definitely wanted to make sure everything's good all right so now as you can see this foam was like pushed in a little bit um, compared to the other edges you can see actually it was pushed in over there a little bit over there none over there so let's hope that that doesn't mean anything I believe I actually have it maybe upside down let's see all right, here we go. This is all of the guts. Now, mainly what I want to look at is the engine bar thing. Which I do not know where that is. I think it's right under there. It looks good, actually. So we might be good. I really hope so. All right, well... I will put this all in my room and I'll start assembling it. Hopefully it's good. All right, so this is what I was worried about. These seem to be fine though. Uh, this is the metal rod that goes into the engine right there. And then there's one right over here on the other side and they look to be straight. I won't really find out until I have it fully assembled. And then we can figure it out. This is really cool. So these are like little buttons. Oh, they're actually like buttons. It's pretty nice. All right. Well, I'm going to get to assembling this. Um, and we will figure it out. Hopefully they're good. So this is actually cool. So how this goes in is they have threads on the inside. Female threads to these male ones. So there's no like uh, nut behind it that you have to put it in. You can kind of see it a little bit better there. Which is super cool. High quality. 
All right, so far we have one side done. We have the bar coming up here. And now I just have to put this bar on that side with this, uh, I don't know what they're called, but the legs. And then I have to put the panels on top. So yeah, so far good process or progress. Um, this is one of the motors. They have a protective cover that you can put on, which is super cool. Um, like I said, the axle bar type thing looks straight. It appears straight, so I really hope that it's not damaged. All right. All right, I got the other one on. I'm using my bed as a stand. I think one of the big selling points for me were these wheels. I think they are awesome. Actually, they're really good quality, too. Check this out. I'll take one of them out. This is what they look like, which is actually really cool. Uh, they look really nice, um, so yeah. All right, so we have it done, assembled right there. We just have to put the panel on and a few other things. Um, I think my biggest worry was I thought this uh, axle right here for the lift was going all the way across, but in fact it is not, which makes it even better quality. Um, there is some desks that go all the way across, which aren't very good in my opinion because it's a uh, clutter. So this is actually really cool. <laughs> Another thing is you have platform all the way across for your panels, which are combined together. Um, so it's two panels that you put on it, which I'm not super used to that either so that's actually really good that it has this little platform for it to screw onto that makes it a lot more stable which i was afraid it wasn't i know the video or the pictures on amazon actually show it uh not having this or it's not very visible so you don't know but yeah pretty cool so far so good uh it is very heavy <laughs> all right so some of these screws over here did not line up so I got my drill and I just drilled through so it should be fine um I think it's because these don't really line up it says on the instructions to make sure that the panels are aligned but they don't really line up too well but that is fine um if that's like the only flaw that I have I don't care um but definitely uh awesome Power tools help a lot, by the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, so far, so good. Voila! Can someone see it, maybe? Yeah. All right, so the final product, we're not done, really, but the legs are up, wheels are on, and this thing is ginormous. Holy cow, all 71 inches, glory, and 31 inches from here all the way out that is pretty crazy this thing is ginormous um yeah very big a lot i kind of expected it to be this big just not really so yeah <laughs> pretty awesome wow all right the grand finale i gotta plug it in here's the plug let's put it over here let's see uh plug it right into there let's go back over here and that's the uh, port over there. Hopefully I can reach it. All right. I 100% cannot reach. Is there another plug? I might just have to move the desk. Right. There we go. I definitely don't <laughs> have it uh, unlocked. Okay. So I'm falling. Okay. There we go. It's right here. This is the plug. And this is the finale. Okay. Let's plug it in right there. Maybe. There we go. Alright, it should have power now. Moment of truth. Please do not be broken. Okay, here we go. Moved it a little bit. Ugh, tight. There we go. This is the switch. I think this might be power. Oh, I messed something up, I don't know. Did I not plug it in all the way? <sighs> we definitely have power. My TV's on, so. Oh, it unplugged. 
<laughs> what? What the heck, dude? Let me move my laundry hammock thingy. Okay, here we go. Oh, it unplugged when I moved it. <laughs> okay, it is plugged in. Let's crawl underneath. Here we go. Oh, you can see it. It's lit up. Here we go, here we go. Okay, so engine one, engine two, and it's at 73 or something. Let's see. Oh, it's powered. Oh, there we go. A little slow. So you can see it spinning there. It is good. And you can see it over there. Oh, I believe it's good. No, oh, wait, wait. Perfect. There might be like a slight wobble like on this one. The engine is slightly wobbling. And maybe on this one as well. But wow, we're at 89 height. 91. Oh God, it's just keeps going holy cow i'm standing up now it is so high up this is so cool this is the coolest thing ever so it has a weight capacity of well it's still going it's almost taller than me it has a weight capacity of 220 pounds so this is crazy can i stop it oh it stops at 115 maybe that's the highest this is crazy high. So that's my TV mounted to my wall. I go down a little bit. It's literally four feet high. Is that four feet? Cause that's what we cut the drywall at. Yep. Wow, that's so crazy. It's literally like a bar. Holy cow, that is insane. Wow, <laughs> this is awesome. I'm gonna put all of my desk and my computers on it. I bought this really cool, uh, drawing tablet xp pen pro 24 inch so that's gonna be crazy wow this is exciting